Dr. Woof. You are listening to Marie Nianos on Get Out of My Head on the MTFB Radio Network. Boy, I tell you, that Luke Flywalker, he is some beefcake, isn't he? I shouldn't say that. MTFB, go. Hello, welcome back, everyone. We are about to um, have our special guest with us, Dr. Wu. Hello! There she is. Marie, Hello, I missed Dr. you. Wu. Welcome again. Have a seat. Have a seat. I Anna. have missed you so much. Has it missed only been, you. Has it been two weeks? It has been. Oh, we have How to have do... you been during that time? Go I ahead. have been horny. <laughs> What? How you do? Just be. Oh, who's that? Hunk? Whoa, who's that hunk of man meat over there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa! I got this. I got this. Wife, L. I got this, Caden. Ooh, look at you. Where are you from, big boy? Uh, he got Don't quiet. Worry. We'll talk after this. Oh. <laughs> So, so is that that beautiful creature next to you your wife? Yep. And her but name is. She'll go both ways too. She goes. Oh, I'm in heaven. Oh, 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 oh. oh sorry, I just came. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. That's not why we were here. We're not here for me to get off. We're here for me to help and answer questions. Is that why we're here today? Dr. Woof, you I think Mandy's, little W. I think Mandy's um, right. I think I may have bitten off more than I can chew. I don't know. L, L does he have not, more than I can chew? Not yet, darling, no. Oh, 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 hot flashes, hot flashes, hot flashes. Oh, oh, woo. Oh, uh, oh, oh, Dr. Wu. Uh, Marie, I'm sorry. I, I think I left a thank puddle. Thank you. On, I think I left a puddle on this table. Uh, that's okay. Yanis can clean that up. Oh, oh where, where is that hunk? I haven't seen him. Um, he actually stepped out to get uh, uh, a drink, I think. I think he's scared of me. <laughs> I think so, too. Speaking think, of scared of me, where is Luke? Are. Luke! Uh, <laughs> Luke! You know I want that pasty white ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's with his family again, enjoying oh, his time. Dang it. With family. So I'm not I'm a homewrecker or nothing. Join us again, Dr. I am Bruce. so glad to be here. And we have more questions for you. Oh, goody, goody. More you questions. would not believe the response that we have had. And um, we're just so thankful that you can join us and help us out with uh, oh, some I of our Oh, I am listeners. so glad to be able to help. Because you know that's what I do for 60 years. That's what I've been doing is helping people. It's what I live for is my calling. I, I know this, and it's been a big help to many people. I'm getting oh, great response. I'm so glad. Oh. I'm so glad. Oh, thank you. Okay, so our questions for tonight. Are you ready? Caden, what you doing after the show? <laughs> I think you know who I'm doing after look, 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 <laughs> look at his chest. Look at his chest. Look at his chest. I just want to rub my face all over that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Marie, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, our first question comes from Gina, who is in is from Ohio, and she has, she wants to know, can you really break a penis? Caden, you want to answer that one? <laughs> Actually, you know what, hold on, I got a better, L, you want to break that one, you ever break Caden's penis? <laughs> If you have it, damn it, girl, I'm gonna give it a shot. I don't have a penis, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Has Kate never said you broke his penis? Well, he said I've, you know, made it sore. Ooh, high five, sure girl, high five. It. Can you actually break a penis? No, you can't break a penis. There's no bones in a penis. However, you can bend one to it. It is totally irreusable for several months. You can't. You. <laughs> From what I've heard, I, I have never done this myself because, you know, I'm getting a little older and I'm not quite as acrobatic and flexible as I used to be. But I have heard that if you hit from the wrong angle, you can bend it really bad and, and apparently it hurts. 
Oh, I can imagine. That, yeah, oh. that question kind of... So I don't... It, I, 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 yeah, I can't imagine why somebody would want to know that. I feel like I should warn somebody's boyfriend or husband or something. <laughs> well, you said her name was Gina? Is Gina thinking about breaking her man's penis? Why is that? I, I think, I think sure. there's a deeper issue with Gina. <laughs> I think she wants to break her man's penis is what the problem is. And she's asking if it's possible. I, I mean, that could Gina, very well be. Gina, are you listening? Are you listening, honey? Listen to me. Do you think your man's getting some strange? Is that what the problem is? And you want to break his penis because he's going outside? Is that what it is? Call me, girl. Call me. We got bigger issues to talk about than just breaking a man's penis. <laughs> okay. And our next question actually comes from a friend of mine. Um, actually, Deb had asked All right. Question. A friend. Wink, wink. No, nope. <laughs> really, truly. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Every time it's a friend. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And I wish she was. I wish she was here at the moment. But her question is: uh, What would you do if you walked in and caught someone masturbating? Would you acknowledge it, or would you act like you were just? shifting around and pretend you weren't oh i guess her question is if someone walked in and caught her masturbating and caught me masturbating yeah i'd throw the covers back spread my legs and say join me <laughs> <laughs> who wouldn't i mean seriously who wouldn't that's an open <laughs> invitation well, well depends. I, I, it depends. It, who catches it depends you. on the, yeah. It depends on who the person is. If if Bubba Jones comes in the door and I'm masturbating, I don't want him joining. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> Kaden, that makes me consider something about you. Why are you thinking about Bubba Jones while you're masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, think I think that that Caden and I need to schedule some couch time. Is what I think. I think Caden, call my people. Call my people. L L. How long you two been together now? Six years. I heard you didn't know he had these latent homosexual tendencies. He's hiding it well. I, I like his kinkiness. You know. That's past kinky, girl. That's past kinky. <laughs> Our next question comes from Cindy in Alabama. What should I do if the condom comes off inside me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Get it out! <laughs> what kind of fucking stupid question is that? <laughs> Reach your ass in there and pull it out. <laughs> Girl, act like you never had your fingers in your twat before. <laughs> Elle, am I right? Just reach it in and pull it out. <laughs> I guess IQs really are not as high down in the south. I guess, I don't know. Reach it and pull that shit out. Have the man pull it out. The fuck you got in there for? <laughs> what do you do if the condom gets stuck? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, what are you on my condom for? What would you do? Did you walk around with a condom in your twat? <laughs> no, yeah, you gotta pull like it out. Sense to me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that sounds definitely like common sense. Cindy, you need to call, girl. You need to call. <laughs> Our next question comes from Alyssa in Chicago. How can you prevent Isn't that where Yanos is from? boring sex? What? Isn't Chicago where Yanos is from? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's just curious. So Go ahead. Alyssa from Chicago wants to know how you can prevent queefing during sex. Pussy fucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's what she's talking about. You can't. You can't. Yeah. It's, it's just gonna happen. It all. It, 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 it. Let's be honest. Okay. I know people laugh. They hear queef. They go. Hee. It's natural. It's gonna happen. Okay. It's just your pussy saying, "Hello, I'm here. <laughs> I'm having a good time." <laughs> That's all it is. All what it is. It's angle and it's air getting pushed inside. That's all it is. It's gotta find a way out. That's all it is. But think of it this way, Alyssa. You said her name is Alyssa in Chicago. Yes. Just tell your man. 
that is just your pussy saying hi. <laughs> hi, don't stop. Keep ramming me, big boy. <laughs> right, Kate? <laughs> I, okay, our next question comes from Jennifer in Virginia. Um, is anal sex unsanitary? She asks. No. Okay. Oh, you want more? Oh, okay. Uh, it, it, it can't. No, no. Listen, to be to be serious, there's a taboo about anal sex. There's a taboo about anal sex, and if it's done wrong, it can be unsanitary. But we're going back to the common sense thing again, which apparently among your listeners is not all that common. <laughs> I'm gonna I, I'm gonna spell it out for you, okay? Clean your ass. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. <laughs> and how? I, I mean, does that make mind, sense? I'm not asking. Get in a get in I, a shower. I, get it. Take a shower. Take a shower for fuck's sakes. That's all you gotta do. Run your loofah between I, your cheeks. I'd like to step in on this one too, just for a second. And oh, please just, do step into I, my anal. I mean, the question. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that uh, anal sex is, is never filthy or anything, as long as you don't do it in a mud puddle or something. You there know? you go. There you go. You know, got to be some sense. There is nothing. <laughs> there. It, this is this is the truth. This is this. You know, I got kidding aside and all this other stuff. There is nothing. That is taboo between two people who love each other and are expressing their love for one another. There's nothing taboo about it. Regular sex could be dirty, quote unquote, and what I mean by it is unsanitary. If you don't take care of yourself, if you don't clean yourself, it could be unsanitary. Marie, let's be honest. Yanos don't wash his penis. You gonna suck it? No. <laughs> L, am I right? You're right. Not about Yanos, about Caden. Does he clean his penis regularly? <laughs> a girl has yes, to know these things. And oh. if he doesn't, I do it for him. See, there, there you go. go. There you go. That's what I'm talking. That's how these two been together for six years. Yeah, that's right. I like right. these two. Call me. Right. Okay. Okay. So does that clear it up? Does that clear it up? There is nothing dirty that happens between two people. As long as it is consensual people showing and, and they love to get. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all. Thank you, Dr. I like it, Naboo. Oh. <laughs> but I wash my Our ass next. first. Okay, go ahead. Our next question comes from uh, Jamie in California. She says, oh, my, boyfriend, my boyfriend is awful at world. What do I do? Get a new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, get a new boyfriend. Okay, okay. I do have another answer. Okay. But not every woman is open to this. Okay, what is that? Get a girlfriend <laughs> and bring her over and show his ass how to lick a twat. <laughs> it's not that hard. If you don't want to go that far, if you don't want to go that far, read the damn porn. That's what they're for. Call me. I'll come over and show them how to do it. <laughs> wow, she's so wise. Well, I mean, yeah. seriously. I've been doing this for 60 years. <laughs> and I ain't blowing dust yet, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm taking notes. <laughs> well, there you, go. you know, you know, I gotta ask. You know, I gotta ask. L, mm. how's, how's Kate? Well, we have a hundred kids, so I'd say he's pretty good. That means his penis work. That don't mean nothing about his tongue. But last I heard, the tongue don't get you pregnant. And I, I'm a doctor. I know these things, damn it. Oh, my god. Okay, fine. Uh, Marie? Huh? Hold on, homie. Like Yellows ain't been south of the border before. I... I got another question for you. You notice how she always does that? Question. You notice how she always does that one of these days? I'm going to get her alone. I'm going to get all these answers. I'm going to tickle her until I get these answers out of her. 
<laughs> okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay, the last question that I have is from Caroline from Delaware. Okay. Or Caroline, I should say. I'm sorry. Um, I'm scared. Oh, my God. Okay. I didn't review this question. I'm scared Obviously. I'm going... I'm scared I'm going to pee during sex. What should I do? Pee? Yes, pee. No, that was my answer, pee. (laughs) (laughs) What are you going to do, hold it? How much fun would that be? Just, I mean, seriously. You have two options. Well, you have three options. Okay? Number one is try to hold it and be uncomfortable. And ladies... Ladies, ladies, you got to agree with me. Work with me on this one. If you are uncomfortable, are you going to have an orgasm? No. 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 I'm not done yet. (laughs) Your other option is to say, Stop there, Jim Bob. (laughs) Jim Bob? Jim Bob. That's Caden's friend, Jim Bob. (laughs) I got to go pee. And that just totally ruins the mood. Yeah. Right? Right? Or three, just let it go. Who cares? You yeah, know, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to call a, a foul and throw a flag on this play. If, if a woman pisses all over me, <laughs> I'm, first of all, How I'm not going to pay extra. <laughs> El charges you after all this time. You figured you'd have had some banked up by now. <laughs> I, I think I'd rather lose a little interest and have her just say, "I gotta be and <laughs> go ahead and go." <laughs> yeah, I I think I'm with you there, kid. And I can't imagine what is this. with kids these days. <laughs> I'm tell you, hon. I'm really sorry, but you know. All those times when you thought I was super excited, it was wasn't. It was. <laughs> see, see, I like L. It's not like you're peeing on his face. He's never gonna know unless you tell him. He's never gonna know. You just tell him you made. He made you squirt. <laughs> Am I in a room full of squirters? Does anybody else squirt like I do? I can. From where I'm sitting right now, I can squirt and hit that coke machine. <laughs> I hit that just right. Whew! I hit the ceiling and the uh, square to hit the coke machine. You are a woman of many talents, Dr. Wu. You have no idea. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> you always amaze me, Dr. Wu. You, you, you really have a way. You're very open uh, with your answers. And as you know, I'm a little uncomfortable. We're talking about that stuff, but why would you she's be been doing it for sixty years? She's exactly. pretty open about why, everything. Why would you be uncomfortable? Sex is <laughs> sex, sex is a beautiful thing. Sex is a be- look, 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 kids. Not not kids, 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 kids. Nah, that's wrong. I'm, I'm talking to everybody here. Sex is a beautiful thing. There is nothing sweeter, more loving, more caring than sex between two people who love each other. It doesn't matter. If you're laying in bed and it's all nice and you got candles and music and roses, or if you're in the middle of the parking lot going at it like two wild apes, it doesn't matter. Sex between two people in love is the most beautiful thing that there is. It is the most intimate physical way that you can show that love to one another. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be uncomfortable about. Oh. It's true. It's true. See, I was brought up Catholic, so... Oh, that explains a lot. That Catholic <laughs> repression. <laughs> oh, holy shit. You better call me, girl. <laughs> oh, 1-800-GET-RID-OF-THE-CATHOLIC. <laughs> oh, Yenos! You are in for it. <laughs> Does Yenos know you were brought up a Catholic? Yeah, he knows. Oh, he knows? Okay. Well, you know, he he does love you. Yes. He told yeah. me. He's told me. He's told me. He has. But, um, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was trying to get a hold of Little Yettos, and he said, oh, can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no. Sex between two people who are in love, 
There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be uncomfortable about. Get out. Get your freak on. Who, who does that song, Missy Elliott? Do, 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 get your freak on. Is that how it goes? <laughs> is that how that song? Is that it? Is it my right? I know I'm a little older. I'm not up on all the the, the recent hip hop trends and stuff. Is that it? Right. Who knows that song? Who knows? Is that Missy Elliott? Get your freak on. Yeah. Who does that song? My lips, my back, my crack, my whatever. Who does that one? Um. My lips, my back, I my pussy, know. and my crack. That's the one I'm talking about. Oh, oh, oh. Because there ain't uh, nothing wrong with Ying Ying Brothers, maybe? There ain't nothing wrong with a little in your crack. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, you act like you don't know. <clears throat> Good to know. Good to know. See, L knows. L knows. Don't act. Don't act. Oh, innocent girls. Jeez. Well, why we have Mrs. Uh, why we have Dr. Woof with us, and since we have our guests here, uh, Kate and Al, do you have any questions for for Dr. Wu? Not if they want to stay together for another six years, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I've got one question. Oh, <laughs> I give you my number. You don't even have to ask. Uh, I, I, I already and I have a little landing strip. <laughs> no, sorry, uh, that wasn't no, it. Okay. My question is that one eight, it's about multiple orgasms. When, when, a, when a woman orgasms like 56 times one right after another is that real or is that just partly faked are you asking for personal reasons or are you just curious because <laughs> you watch a lot of porn l, l likes to mess around okay. <laughs> i mean look at the kids <laughs> this is true this is true you two like sl bunnies we are i'm surprised you haven't plopped one out while i've been sitting here <laughs> well, give me time. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so by the end not of the show, this is going to be 101. <laughs> uh, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> I get the camera and the KY. <laughs> um, I'm sure that there's some women out there that fake it. I'm sure that they, I, I mean, I don't fake it because I can come just just walking. So <laughs> I'm serious. If I walk just the right way, rub my legs together, I can woo. Just, just like that, just right there. I'm quite sure that your lovely wife is having 56 orgasms in a row. <laughs> it's very possible. It's very, very possible. It's very possible. I, and the funny thing is, is guys ask this question all the time. How can I tell if she's faking it? You can't. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Any guy that tells you you can tell she's faking it, full of shit. You can't tell. Yeah. They that good. There's there's one little way to tell, but I only that's in my book, How to Tell If a Woman Is Faking an Orgasm for nineteen ninety five. You can get that off my website. I'm not gonna tell you here. <laughs> okay? I, I that's the that's the only way I'll tell you that one. But if if Is that the hardback or <laughs> No, that's the that's the soft cover. Hardback? We'll, make, we'll 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 talk about hard later. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have I'm gonna have uh, Yanos narrate that book. That's a good idea. No, I would really like to hear that. You would? Okay. Well, let's have his yeah. people. Let's have your people talk to my people, and we'll get that done. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. That um. Sounds yes, good. women can have multiple, multiple, multiple orgasms back to back to back. Yes, they can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, hon, I told you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a friend who. I remember she saying Again with that, the friend. You know, she said, she said, no, it's true. Actually, it's Nan. Okay, my friend Nan. She was talking about how she like This is their daughter! It feels, it feels good when she, her, um, you know what, falls asleep when she's like sat too long and it gets like all tingly. <laughs> oh, isn't that the one that we used to, you know, she used to call Num V J J or Num V or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> For that very reason. She talked about having a Num Vagina. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, I don't yeah. know if I want my vagina I mean, I to be numb. A nummy vagina, but I've never heard of a numb vagina. <laughs> nummy. I see what you did there. High five, girl. <laughs> I guess you know. So, okay. Okay, so I think, I think what the the crux of the issue is is that Marie's never had a numb vagina. <laughs> no, I've had a numb ass, but never a numb vagina. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> <laughs> I am just gonna sit here and sip my coffee. <laughs> Marie and I will have to have a private session. 
Uh, Clothing optional. Yeah. No, I mean, I just... It's never gone numb on me, no. I do like it when my vajayjay tingles, if that's what you're asking. Who doesn't? Yeah, right? <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's... Have, have Nan call me. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> have, have Nan call me. Yeah, about her number, JJ. But she likes it. It's not an issue for her. I just thought it was interesting. It's very interesting. Half a call me. I've never heard, never heard of a number, JJ. Is she married? <laughs> yes. Okay, have him call me too. <laughs> he must be hung like a whale. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know. I don't either, but okay, I want to find is, out. Uh, my next question then it is a well hung. <laughs> what was that? What was that? What was the question? I missed the question. Is a well hung. Is what well hung? A well. Is it hung? Oh well. Of course it is. Oh, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a biologist. I'm a sexologist. <laughs> you made the statement. Haven't you ever seen a whale's thing? It's huge. Oh, I've never done that, no. Me either. Yeah. I'm not a marine <laughs> biologist. I'm a sexologist. <laughs> and it's a dork, right? Yeah. So that's right, it's a dork. It's not it. it's not really a dork. That's 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 a that's a whole wives tale. No, it is. No. It it's just that it's also referred to used in our slang. Right. It's urban slang. A dork to mean something else, but it's, it is it is a uh, girls, girls, girls. Let's let's be honest. Let's be honest. Okay, let's be honest. They yes. ain't nobody's vajayjay in here can handle a whale's penis. Not, <laughs> not even mine. Not even mine. Uh, and I can mine. stretch. I, and I, I can stretch get on that. I think you're underestimating yourself there, Doc. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's a hell of a compliment there, young man, but I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh Dr. Wu thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for having me session. again I am so glad I was able to help I, I'm glad too I always enjoy your visits and it was just especially uh, awesome having you here with our other guests Kaden and L. and um, it's always a pleasure and I hope you come back I will be back, back as, I will be back as soon as you have me just call I'll be here that's great, and I'll have hoping that our listeners will continue to send in questions, well thought out questions, hopefully, um, for answers from Dr. Woof to help out. Um, and thank you again, Dr. Woof. You are so, so very welcome, Kaden and Elle. It was a pleasure to meet you. Mandy, over there by yourself, pleasure to meet you. Uh, and somebody going to have to clean this wet spot up. <laughs> That's all I got to say. you too. I nominate call, Mandy. Yeah, call, there. Me, call me later, Doc. <laughs> Poor man. Oh, I will. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. It's always a pleasure having her on the show. <laughs> so, what did you what did you think, Kate and Nell? What did you think of Dr. Wu? She is so knowledgeable. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 